says push and turn. And oh, there you go. It went right in. So that's good. And I got to check the angle of my out. But this is nice because it you can pivot it a little bit to get it angled the way you want because we definitely don't want to hit the rim over here. Now we're going to do the hot water. Hi, Princess. <laughs> Are you helping, Mama? Thank you. Mama appreciates that help. Okay. That went on too, and I can't budge that out of there. And I can pivot that too, so that's great. So now we have two directions. We have two of them going this way. We got to plumb it under the trailer. That's nice. Okay, so I got to measure from here to the water closet. If you remember our two metal friends from prior in the project, this one we used to cut to line up the holes for the outlets on the bread box. And this one we used to measure the length of the water tank so we can make our platform at the right length for the bread box. We're going to use these again. We're going to stick uh, one here in the closet. take a first measure. We're going to take a first measure from the cold water outlet and I'm just lining it up with the flexible hose where it could comfortably hit. And leave that there then. I just crammed it in the dirt a little bit. Then I'm going to use this pipe and run from the, the cold first because it's the hardest to reach and run it through underneath until I get to that pipe and then I know the length of pipe and then I need to cut my hopper. So I got to better get a marker. Okay, so it's that long that we need it. Copper pipe is really soft um, for a metal and even just like the slightest drop on the pavement can make a ding or a bend and uh, boy so you have to really handle it carefully but on the positive side it sure cuts easy compared to, say, stainless steel. I'm taking off these burrs so I can get a nice smooth uh, fit into the into the shark teeth elbow. I'm doing the top. And the inside because there's little burrs on the inside. There's a special reaming tool for this, but since I don't do this a lot, I don't have it yet. <laughs> okay, that feels pretty good. I'll go with that. When I first measured the pipes for cutting, I marked them hot and cold. And I marked them with the China marker, the wax pencil. And the this is uh, the cold and it was just as dark as the hot so I don't think the China marker is best to use for that purpose because it got rubbed off while I was cutting the pipe so it probably best to use a sharpie in this instance I redid the hot so I could tell which one it was because it's so, a faint on there I could tell 
the cold is completely gone except for just a very faint uh, arrow marking. So, yeah, Sharpie's it on this one. This is my cold pipe. So, I'm going to run this under here till I hit my prescribed mark that I measured to start with. Now, the only thing is, this has got a little bit of weight on it, so we're going to have to get some metal strapping to hold it up there underneath. And here's the materials that I'm going to be using to finish off this piping. Um, I've got the two copper pipes cut to fit, filed and smoothed down. I got the two other shock bite elbows, and then two 90s that are going to go on the ends of the copper and then hook on to the riser that's actually going up into the water closet. I've got eight hex head metal screws. I got my socket set for putting the metal screws in and of course uh, metal tape. Um, this is the recycle tape that used to be on the water heater and there is no point in using new. This is perfectly fine. So we're going to recycle this into our new uh, setup in the water box. Excellent. I'm going to be putting on the uh, Shark Bite 90 onto the horizontal pipe and I'm going to be putting the riser into this end before I get it in the closet because it's going to be too hard for me to crawl under the trailer and shove it in there. But I know the lengths that I need because I measured it ahead of time. I noticed that some of the metal tape that came out of the water closet was bent over doubled like that. I think that's for strength so I'm going to copy that. That seems like a good idea to me. Change of plan on the fastener using a two inch wood screws instead of the hex bolts and using the smaller holes on the metal tape because I couldn't get into the wood and I'd have to drill all the holes and actually I'm kind of tired of drilling right now Okay, I'm measuring from the cold end down to the elbow that's going to be taking the riser. The riser is just a pipe that comes up, to the best of my knowledge. Okay, I'm getting, keeping room for the how, you know, giving me enough room to where I can hook off into the shark bite and enough room to hook off into this one. So it looks like 20 is going to be fine. And I did make sure that my horizontal pipe coming off my cold was uh, level. This strap here supports the hot water. This strap that's separate to itself on the side supports the cold water lower down here. And neither of them are touching the trailer underneath so the trailer has room to flex. Okay, doing the last leg of the insulation on the pipes and I want to show you these cool uh, Insul pipe insulations. 